I mean, come on, that is pretty cool. Hello everyone, I'm Taylor Bampico. For today's video, I will be reviewing a revolver I wanted for a very long time. An original Colt Cobra. Now before I go any further, I will ensure this revolver is clear. We're good. Let's continue, shall we? So this particular Cobra was made in 1952, and as you can tell by all the bluing wear, it definitely was an everyday carry for someone. And while cosmetically it doesn't look too well, the lockup is phenomenal. One thing I will say about this firearm and for snub nose revolvers in general is there is quite a bit of a learning curve to them. And of course, the only way to learn how to shoot a snub nose revolver is by shooting a snub nose revolver. But finding 38 Special is very difficult right now. But when I did find some ammo, I did actually go out and shoot this. And of course, at that time, I didn't have these grips on there. Which of course, as you can see there, with the original grips for on here, it did make controlling the recoil a bit more difficult. And so I began to look for other grips for this firearm. And of course, this being a pre-66 model, getting the right grips is a little bit more difficult than I thought. I had ordered a pair, turns out those were for a post-66 model. The frame was a bit shorter on those versus the earlier ones. So if you do end up buying one of these, be sure to check the serial number and date it with Colt so you know exactly what year it was made. That way you don't end up with the wrong style grips, which I did. However, I did find corresponding grips for this gun. These are brand new. They're made by Eagle Grips. I do like the finger grooves. It does make it fit a little bit better than the original just straight panel grips. Now, I hope these grips will help improve my ability to control recoil. Of course, I said finding ammo to shoot out of this gun is going to be very difficult. But eventually, I'll find some, so I'm not too worried about it. Now, on the topic of ammunition, this having an aluminum frame, it will not handle plus P ammunition. Now, the Detective Special, on the other hand, will handle it because that has a steel frame. Though I did read something about shooting plus p out of this firearm i'm not going to risk it i'll have to read that article again just to make sure i read it correctly but either way i'm not going to shoot plus p out of this firearm now another reason i wanted this revolver in my book traffic this was the original revolver nicole had in that story over time it was changed to a smith and wesson model 64-3 then that over time became the ruger security 6. and so while this firearm does not appear in that book anymore when i saw it i said okay i have to get it because i always wanted one sure it's cosmetically and poor condition, but mechanically it's just fine. And really the cosmetic damage just really shows the durability of this firearm, and it really adds some character to it. So to anyone who's looking for an older revolver to add to their collection, especially a Stumnose, I would recommend the original Colt Cobra. Now while Colt did reintroduce the Cobra in 2016, I don't know if I'll get one of those. I mean, I just like the older ones. Same thing with the Python. While those look interesting, I honestly might just go with an original. Now many gun people will think of this firearm when you say Colt Cobra, However, when I hear that, this is the first thing that comes to mind for me. I mean, come on, that is pretty cool. Now, while I was into monster trucks long before firearms, this definitely did exist long before that character. Well, anyway, that was my video on the Colt Cobra. If you enjoyed it, remember to subscribe if you haven't already, click that bell icon so you're notified when I upload new content, leave any comments you have in the section below, and have a good day. See ya!